Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. This is Tampa Tech, and I'll show you the ins and outs of my computer and uh, different troubleshooting steps you could do if your computer ever messes up on you. Now, if your computer is booting up, and then when it gets to um, load uh, Windows, 7, uh, Windows 7 or operating system, um, and it crashes after, then it could be your hard drive. So if your system boots up, your uh, computer boots up, and it gets to a point where you'll see Windows and then it crashes, yeah, check your hard drive or the voltages. You want to make sure you do that as well. So the only thing you have to do is unplug that. Alright, so this is the power going into my hard drive. And this is the data line. That's the data line going to my motherboard to my hard drive. And it's called a SATA. All right. Now I got my Fluke 12 multimeter. You want to set it to DC, direct current. So you just hit that button. Now it AC is alternating current. You want it in DC. AC is what's coming in from the power cord. Then the power supply changes AC to DC. So the red indicates 5 volts DC. The black wire indicates ground, 0 volts, and the yellow wire should be 12 volts. So let's go see if I'm right. So let's go ahead and put the black in the black, and let's put the uh, red lead into the red, then plug it in. If we can find the power plug, plug in the power, and then turn it on and you read 5 volts. And that's what we want, 5 volts. Now unplug the power cord and then go ahead and swap it to the 12 volts. So you want to make sure you know if your hard drive is bad or the power supply is bad. That's what we're basically troubleshooting here. So your hard drive could be good and it's not getting the voltage it needs to turn on. Alright, plug it in, plug in the power and then turn it on and boom you got 12 volts that's what you basically that's what we want and then unplug it again the reason why we're unplugging it every time is because in case I slip up and I touch this lead to here I can short things out in my meter so I don't want to do that um, and I recommend using a ground strap too on your wrist <laughs> this dust is killing me so anyway let's go ahead and plug that back in um, if you hear a lot of weird noises coming from the hard drive, sometimes that's the hard drive. Because the hard drive is electrical, mechanical. It's actually a metal disc and it spins around and it has like a needle and it's moved by um, kind of like, it looks like a, almost like a record player. But if you ever open up a hard drive, you can see um, what it looks like. It's kind of like a, a, a dual sided record player with uh, two needles. like. Uh, you know, kind of like that, and it writes and erases stuff, information on the hard drive. Anyway, that said and done, this is my RAM. I did upgrade my RAM because when I installed my video card, I, it recommended it to upgrade my RAM, so I did that. So I upgraded the video card and the RAM because I play DC Universe once in a while, and also you know Bioshock and stuff like that. So if you're playing online games, you should uh, upgrade your video card and your RAM. Now, if your computer is crashing or it doesn't boot up or something, what I would suggest doing is take out one of your RAM sticks like this, push down on, the lever, on that latch, and then over here, push down on that latch, and it comes out. Grab it by the corners, by the way. You want to hold it like that, and don't touch this. Okay, now, once you turn on the computer, you want to plug, plug the computer back in and turn it on, okay? And turn it on. And if the computer turns on without that RAM stick, then it's a bad RAM stick, okay? So that's another thing to look out for. But you might have to swap, you know, you might have to do it three times because you got three different RAM sticks. So. You want to make sure that you got the right RAM stick that you're taking out that's bad. And how to put that in is basically you do that. And you push one end in. 
and then push the other end in. Some people say, hey, you recommend um, you should wait about at least a minute before, the, before doing anything so the computer discharges every time you unplug the computer. It takes like uh, about like 30 seconds to a minute to discharge to safely work on it. Something else to look, watch out for. But uh, I'm like kind of, I've been doing this for a living for 10 years. I'm a home theater, P TV, and a PC tech. So I'm just doing a quick run through for you guys. But uh, I never really had a problem where I shorted anything out doing, doing that. It's just a safety precaution, people say. But it is a good guide to live by. Anyhow, that said and done. Um, yeah. So if you have a video or audio problems, See, if you have audio problems, what I would suggest doing is, hey, upgrade your audio card and just put the audio card in right there. Um, sometimes audio problems, for me, the most common problem for audio is I just have to reset the drivers. And I go into the device manager and I click on audio. So when you search device manager in your computer and you go to the audio drivers, you could just click on drivers and enable it and, I mean, disable it and then enable it. And it should work automatically. If it doesn't, if you have an HP computer like I do, just go to hp.com and go to drivers and support and re-download the driver and that sometimes fixes it too. Uh, those are the common steps I do. I did a video on that, on like you know, how to fix audio. Just look at my PC playlist. Uh, video, with my video, my video went bad on my computer. Anyone, I started having like weird things going on, like lines and stuff on my computer screen. So I just upgraded my video card and it works fine. You can swap it out with the old computer too, the video cards. They're interchangeable, if they are compatible. You gotta make sure they fit and they turn on. Um, then you have to go to HP or GeForce.com and download the drivers for that. If you don't have the disc, the CD or discs. But with me, sometimes um, when I go to a customer's house, I actually, the first thing I do is check their, I go to device manager and enable, um, disable it and then enable it, the driver. So that sometimes works. Well, actually I would say that works maybe like 50% of the time. You know, sometimes they have a virus and you yeah, just run uh, malware bytes. That works really good, it's free. You get it at cnet.com. It's free download, malware bytes, I recommend. If you guys have a good one you recommend, let me know. And that's pretty much my PC tech tips. Um, you can also check out the voltages right here. I'm going to do that real fast. But if you have any tech tips that I overlooked and say, hey, you should do this and you should do that when troubleshooting, let me know. We should, you know, share our th thoughts. Post a comment below, and we'll all share thoughts below there. I'll go ahead and turn that on and test the the power going into the system board, motherboard. You turn it on. You can actually put the ground right here if you want. You just touch the ground. You could do that as well. This, this whole thing is ground, by the way. And, oops, shit. I'm grinding stuff. I was grinding that on the fan. Just be careful of that. And then right there. So right there, the orange is 3.3 .3 volts. So we're reading the orange. That's 3.3 .3 volts. So you want to make sure you got 3.3, .3 or else your system board won't boot up. Turn on. But that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Post a comment. Check out my TV repairs and my tablet repair and so on and so forth. Thanks, guys. And subscribe to Tampa Tech. And like.